first let's take a look at what the wall street is really doing and a lot is what the wall street is currently doing because we did have a very strong handover coming into this morning from wall street stocks of course surge during Thursday's regular session. So when you take a look at S&P 500, you're looking at a rise of about 1.7% coming in and a close above the 5,700 level for the first time as well. Those are the kind of gains that you're seeing there. But when you take a look at blue chip Dow, that's where you're seeing some stellar moves coming in. Ended the day with more than 500 points of an uptick coming in there and posted its first ever close above 42,000. And that's the handover for Dow as well. When you take a look at Nasdaq, also, Good gains coming in for that one, 2.5% is how much it advanced as well. And when you take a look at Dow and S&P 500, both of them closed above uh, those, rec both of them did manage to eke out those all-time record levels. And those are the kind of levels that we currently did see. Now, of course, the Fed's decision also marked the first rate cut since 2020. And the markets were really cheering all of that. When you take a look at the weekly moves as well, you're seeing good gains coming in for the week as well. S&P 500 ended up nearly 1.6% for the week. When you take a look at Dow as well, toting a 1.5% jump and that's where Dow is at in terms of a weekly move. 1.9% advance for the Nasdaq as well. So very good week and a very good day coming in for all of the three indices, Sheridan. Absolutely. A very good morning to you, Shreyansi. So a good handover coming in uh, from the US markets and it was expected. We actually saw the US futures also rally through the course of the day. But let's take a look at what actually the commodity markets are doing at this point in time and what the commodity uh, sort of uh, uh, handover we've got from the commodity markets. Because if you look at the crude prices, it did end uh, on a higher level on, in the overnight trading session. And in fact, this morning as well, if you look at the crude, it's holding on to those levels that it actually shut shop uh, in the overnight trading session. So now if you look at the crude, it is around that $73.69 per barrel. Remember, this week alone, the crude has made a good comeback, a healthy comeback of above 4.3% so far. If you look at the WTI crude, it is at the $72 per barrel level. And that one also has seen gains above 4.8% so far this week. So yes, you've got a healthy bounce back coming in from crude oil prices. Remember, the situation was pretty different if you had to see crude prices a week ago or so because you had a sharp downtick coming in in the crude oil prices. From then on now, it has given a very healthy bounce back. Remember that, uh, that like I mentioned, the crude had fallen to a three-year low on September 10th. If you talk about some of the data, you had the crude inventories in the United States, which is the world's top producer now. It actually fell to one, uh, one year low last week. That's as per the data that was released on Wednesday. Also, uh, right now, if you look at the geopolitical tension, that's also fueling the kind of surge that you're seeing in the oil prices at this point in time. So crude right now holding on to gain uh, to levels above the 72 or $73 per barrel per mark when you talk about Brent at least, uh, Shansi. Well, If you like this video, then like, share and subscribe to ET Now.